30 seconds to battle. The battle begins. Size went in the jungle. Way Look at this. 18 CS already. Farming two camps simultaneously. Yeah, he. Uh, we, we saw this before. Very right? Was it Puppy who did it? Someone ran the Iron Talon. FPL ran it a lot. Yeah. It's not like it's the first time we've seen it, and it is one of the fastest Iron Talon junglers, but. Mm -hmm. oh, it's also a very passive laning stage, which sometimes can be punished, but hey. Committed the scan now. We're gonna start to rotate someone in. Zai. Uh, he's, they're like, he's level five. What do we do, guys? Help. He has level three wards. He's out leveling universe by significant. That might be the fastest Venno jungling I've actually seen. That is, I bet, that's he what was five at like five three minutes. minutes. Yeah. Not even like three thirty. Yeah, because he went back home and he, he and then he came back. Did and he have uh, uh, No, he walked back. Yeah, so damn. Yeah, that was like a three minute level five. That's crazy. I just gonna do But Sumail, a bit tankier now that he's hit level 3, and he is gonna be able to withstand the aggression of Pinky in the brain. Yeah, he got his, his, all his mana back. And that counts. Problem. And he has a self. He's prepared oh, for the Ogre. Meanwhile, though, MSS just caught tail end of that. Dove and punished by Crit and Arteezy. He was trading a lot with Crit earlier, so I guess got into the kill zone, and then they're able to run him down. So kill. Uh, actually, I think you place an obs ward like right here, or a sentry ward right here, you can deward both. But... Yeah, they're gonna need another sentry. Still looking for the show and Aoi, and this time they've caught him out completely. The ultimate comes through, Aoi does spend his gold, he buys the Helm of Iron Will, but he doesn't have to lead his Dominator yet, he goes down, EG. This is how you deal with the spam. Pressure on him in the lane, they don't let him get to the stacks for free. Crit in a little bit of trouble. Envy with only level 3 Starfall. This could be a very difficult kill with all the creeps around. He's gonna try for it. Will he get that extra Starfall? No, it hits the creep instead. Be unable to connect down. Crit at full health almost as, as he starts to heal up. They're gonna move on to Envy. Pulls out that leap. Apparently, I imagine, he wants to get to the low ground before committing. No, he's gonna stick around and Arteezy still holds the rage. So very poised play here by the carries. There's a fish with the arrow not gonna connect. They also have the roar. Could have roared into an arrow there, but the timing yeah, didn't work out. Now Envy instead rotating onto the top lane, leaping with the Starfall. They want to shut down the universe. Can they kill him though? He's going to go for the TP out, and with the cogs, it'll buy him enough time. He will end up making it. Battery Salt slowing Envy down ever so slightly there. I'm up very, very quickly regardless. He kind of functions like a Jakiro too, where he's really good at taking these early towers, and that in turn uh, allows you to limit the spend's alternatives to the Ancients as they can Crit. invade the jungle more actively. Crit though, he looks like he's in too far. They're going to try to hold on to the roar here. They will not need to use it as four heroes dogpile that pesky freaking warlock. In fact, it was about to be five with even Envy coming in. They are not going to let EG shut down their Ancients without a bigger commitment. Down just in general, he's not exploding out of control. And that's really what EG's was with all of this. He's fourth on that. Venno is ahead of him. Venno almost has a mech, mind you. The universe will find SVG good cog back, pushing him into Arteezy's grubby paws. And Lifesteer will collect that kill. Now about to complete an armlet. I think it's on the courier. EG. Trying to stack these ancient torrent almost. It looks like, no, they want to steal them. They need Dusa to take it, though. This is going to be slow going. They have the rock, should NP dare to engage. And a wall of wards is a... I, this is just salt in the wound, Ben. First they block the stacks, and they they body block them after using the wards to do so, and now they're coming in to steal them after looking to stack them for themselves. Stone Gaze committed here. That could set up a devastating rock, and indeed it does. Yes, sir. NP are going to be absolutely slaughtered by this. Two down already. SVG on the run. Yeah, this this lineup is built to deal with the Sven. It was excellent. You normally get the spicy, right? Yeah, yeah sometimes I, get, I got original this time. You got an OG? Yep. 
You know, Greg told this me. This is NA that... Dota. We're not allowed to have anything. What did Greg tell you? We're gonna see Chris die here. Boom! Got him. <laughs> Something about power. I asked Greg about. I, I don't know. I asked him like if he liked to eat at so and so place. The place name isn't that important, but he's like, I only go there if I'm in the mood to. And then. Wow. Good yeah, hook on to SPG, trying to bring him down, but he steals the cup after the rage steal from earlier and tries to make it away. Open wounds, and the horde will finish him. A noble effort. Not enough. Yeah, he had a rage steal. That's... I have no taste. I have no class. And I'm totally fine with it. <laughs> I'm a gamer, man. He's easy charging in. He's going to get up the open wounds. This is going into a roar, potentially, but backup is enormous as they will find the Gale initiation on MSS. Beastmaster just forced to try and run, but he won't make it out. EG run him down. This irritating chip damage that they bring to bear. Didn't even get the deny off. He tried with the Ogre. Man. With the Aegis, still with a healthy two and a half minute lifetime. All right, they're going to try to initiate here with the Moonlight Shadow, but Zai does have a gem, so there won't be any sneak attacks. Even Universe popping a zoning dust down in front. They roar Arteezy, but as a Centaur comes in, he could just infest that thing if he's really worried. Start hitting it instead. He will get stunned again. Arrow to follow this up. Well done, but they really want to pop the Aegis without committing too much. Unfortunately, that Venomancer set of Greaves has something else to say about it. No more waves being cut, but top lane is pushing as Owie enters the base and already Envy just shoving out mid. They have yet to take their racks. They are being forced back. Sumel already TPing away. Envy still continues to be ever so slightly ahead of them. Arteezy's like, no guys, come on, we can do this. Don't give up. But Envy snakes his way through the trees, going deeper. <laughs> and now it's a full-fledged scouting mission to hunt him down. This Commando Marana has been found though and might be in trouble. Leaps out of the cogs, the kings are in blocking him for now though. Oh, shot. I'm not gonna TP out. That's not gonna happen with the, the that battery would, pop, but man. That would creator. happen to Envy. That would happen. He leaps, because he feels safe, and then he gets trapped in the terrain. <laughs> Poor guy. Poor guy. Indeed. I mean, he did his job, you know, like given the situation. Like, they can't kill me? Oh, uh -oh. wait. Oh, Peasy's on a little hunt here. Now that the rage has cooled down, he's going to move on to SPG. Doesn't have the open wound for one second. Oh, if he waited a bit longer, that would have been a guaranteed kill. Mid, and there is no more creep cutting. They are going to have to take a fight and have to do it soon. And the stolen wards look cute, but at this point, it really doesn't matter. EG just going in too fast, too furious. And they bring down Zai. Doesn't have his ultimate available. The Sven doing what damage he can. Arteezy, though, moving on to him. Able to win the man fight for now with the rocket. And he dropped off, actually kill the Sven off head on. And Arteezy, armlet toggling through this. He still survives. He's got the six charges. Pulling down in just a second. It looks like he's going to live the soul. And still gets by SPG. Great steal, but it won't matter. At least doesn't look like it. Maybe they can turn it. Coming in from behind. Does Envy No, he too will fall. Too many items. Too much beef in the front lines. Arteezy still alive through all of that. A triple kill for Universe of all heroes. And they're not leaving them. Going for the jugular now. Oh, what a force staff. My goodness. OG are having to work though. NP not making this easy for them as SVG swings around from behind. Needs to find another spell to steal. They're going to lift up Arteezy. Armlet toggling. Again, they just can't seem to bring him down in that goal and preventing AUI from blinking after him. We'll zap him in the end. The taser from SVG. Oh, friggin' Rubik player, I'll tell you what. They did have to buy back on the Sven and the Ogre in that last fight. It just looks grim. It can be deceiving. Uh-oh. Envy's gonna die again. He's lying him up. Oh, blank hook and death. Damn, that was brutal. Oh, the blink such a good idea, too, versus Rana. Their observer wards are in such a place that they know that they're coming. And they scanned this as well, so they know all too well what's headed their way. Something wicked. There is no gem on Zai, though. The gem's currently on Universe. Sarteezy is the man who might get caught out here. Further to put down, but more importantly, they isolate that light. Can they focus them down? No, he rages. And now Sumail can hope to turn this fight out. on the back line, though. Relatively uncontested. The ward slowing it down. Poor Superman fan. He just wants to hit someone with his big bad sword. Can he do it? SVG stealing the poison Nova. And the Rubik plays, but it doesn't seem like it's going to matter. That's three down. It's soon to be four, maybe even five, if they can chase down Eternal Envy. They have a blink soon if this poison Nova would ever wear off size. Desperately trying to give Envy the hot sauce. It's the green variety. He will leap away, but uh, it's it's looking over, Ben. 
it's looking pretty over. Yeah, no chance of recovery. Such a great early game coming out from EEG. Zai getting level 5 in 3 minutes, then coming top to stop that tower push. Uh, killing Sven with an early Poison Nova. All the attention devoted towards the Dire Ancients. Like, all these things just add up to AUI being completely useless on top of the draft itself. Game and P now are going to be trailing EG 2 to 1 in the best of 5. Should they win that game 4, we go to a game 5 decider. But we'll see if we get there. EG showing some resilience, um, liking their ability to adapt in a longer series. Uh, that was something a lot of people questioned was how well will Zai draft? Will he be able to match PPD? I think it's too early to say he's matched him in that department, but certainly showing some potential to do so here.